Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the new Esther console. I'll highlight the new user interface and a few key features we've added. Once you log into the AWS Management Console, you can click on S3 to launch the new console. This is what the new console looks like. You can see the bucket count and regions on the right. You can see the regions of each bucket in this new column, and you can sort by any of the columns. You can also search for a bucket using any keyword. When you select a bucket, we have this new overview panel, which shows you the summary. The overview panel is fixed and is updated as you select different buckets. There's a button to copy your bucket's ARN, and you can paste it using any normal paste command. You can also jump to the bucket's property, properties page from here, where you can view and edit different properties such as versioning and events. You can click on the bucket name to go inside and see what objects are in there. You can see here as well when you select an object an overview panel, which has a summary of the selected object. If your object has multiple versions, you can see them in this dropdown. You can download or delete a specific version from this dropdown. You can also select multiple files and folders and then perform actions on them, such as get size, delete, and make public. You can double click on an object to open it up. And if you click on the object name, you'll navigate to this new object details page. The object details page shows you information about your object. You can view and edit object properties by going in, into the properties tab and add tags, for instance. You can edit the object permissions through the permissions tab. Let's go back up. You can also access bucket properties through the properties tab and enable versioning for example you can view you can view the access control list bucket policy and course configuration through the permissions tab and then lifecycle analytics metrics and inventory can be configured through the management tab now let's take a look at how to upload objects into this bucket if you use chrome or firefox you can drag and drop files and folders to upload you can also set permissions and properties for the files being uploaded right through this modal. While the files are being uploaded, you'll see the progress bar. And you can click on the progress bar to get more details. And that brings us to the end of this quick overview of the new S3 console. We would love to hear from you and get your thoughts about this video and any others you would like to see in the future. You can use the feedback link at the bottom left to give us feedback. Thanks for watching.